to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on today's video. So I made a video when I was pregnant just talking about everything I thought you needed um, that was essential after having a newborn. Um, I did also talk a lot about not purchasing a bazillion things. I think in today's world, it's super easy to buy way too much stuff. So today I am here nine months postpartum to tell you guys exactly what you need when bringing home a newborn. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, what should we start with? Okay, let's start with this first. Um, this is called the My Breast Friend Pillow. So this is very similar to a boppy pillow, um, boppy nursing pillow. I'm sure you've seen a lot at Target and whatnot. Um, this one I personally wanted um, because of this uh, strap, I guess you could say, and it clips together. So you just wrap it around yourself, clip it in, and it's got a little handy dandy pocket if you wanna put your phone or whatnot. Um, and it's super soft, super comfortable. I use this a ton. Um, if you are nursing, if you're not nursing, I don't think you necessarily need this, um, but it's just nice when they're super tiny to have something to put them on and hold them on. And I loved how you could strap it onto yourself so it's not, falling down. A lot of things I saw about the boppy um, in particular were that the baby like fell between the boppy and you. This one I know I talked about in my other video and yes, the baby stays on here. It does not fall in between you. So that is super nice and I highly recommend this. Next up, this is the baby shusher. And again, I'm sure you've seen this product. There is an app for this, which I did end up buying when we were on a trip in October and um, my baby was screaming through the night. So um, this I love, but it does turn off after 30 minutes. And like, I don't understand that at all. You need it for more than 30 minutes, um, but the app stays on forever. So I recommend just getting the app. It's way cheaper. You don't need the physical thing. We all have our phones with us at all times of the day. Um, so the app is great. But again, so is Spotify's like shh noise. You can find anything for free. Um, but if you want to add something to your registry that would be nice to have for car rides, this is great. It does come with um, a little strap that you can hook to their car seat as well. And if your kid is like me and has colic, you need this or a shushing noise. So next up is some fun stuff. Um, I know the thing you want to do when you first find out you're pregnant is buy a bazillion clothes. That is what I tried to refrain from, and I think I did pretty well. Um, so I want to just share with you guys the stuff that my baby was wearing the most um, when he was a little tot. So first off, we have this little thing. Oh my gosh, it looks so small. Wow, okay. And this was big on him most of the time. Um, so these are from the brand Guomi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, these are great. They are well priced. Um, so if you're looking for something that's kind of middle of the road between like a Target onesie and the next one I'm going to share with you guys, um, this is great. So it's super soft material. It's a pretty thick fabric, I would say. Um, not too thick though, not like a fleece onesie. So these I absolutely loved. He wore a lot of them. What's important when you have a newborn is definitely the mitts that are built in. Um, so I loved that these came with mitts. Um, this one in particular also gave you the option to have feet, which is great. Um, most of the time I do put him in the footed ones, but this one is awesome. If you don't want it to be footed, um, you can choose. So I loved that. Um, this is also a feature you won't see a lot of times in onesies are these buttons on the tush. Um, I think it's technically, bleh, technically supposed to be so you can diaper change them easily, no one's going to do that. You're always going to unzip it and take it off. But what's nice is you can check if they have peed or pooped. Most likely they have peed or pooped though, so you should just change the diaper probably. Um, but I absolutely love these. I will link them down below. I got them in two colors and um, he wore them a ton and we washed them a ton and I'd say they're still in pretty decent shape um, for the price. Next up, and I'm sure you've heard of this brand, um, everyone's obsessed, I am too, and they're the best. So this is a Kite Baby onesie. Um, this is the white one, 
you know I love white, as you can see, my wall color. Um, so this one is amazing. They are pricey, I will say that, but they definitely hold up to the price. So the quality is amazing. I've washed them, dried them, everything. They are so soft. Like, I don't think you're going to find anything that's softer than this. Um, and I just, I love them. So the Kite Baby onesies, this one in particular does not have the mitts. This is a zero to three size, I think. Um, but you can get them with the mitts. I want to say the newborn sizes have mitts. And then what's nice about Kite Baby is this one does not have the feet. So you can get them with the feet or without the feet. You can get them zippered or buttoned. Um, personally, I never have had buttons. I think that's just goofy because a zipper is so much easier. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are just one of a kind. They're amazing. They just had a sale and they do have a, they do have sales pretty often. Um, so what's going on? My hair. Oh, that's annoying. So if you can follow them on social media and whatnot and purchase things on sale, um, that can save you a lot of money as well, but they're great. The one thing I will say about the Kite Baby onesies is it's this material. It's super soft. I think it's bamboo. If you do use like an Aquaphor, A&D, any of those ointments on your baby for like diaper rash or when, if it's a boy, when they first come home on their winky, um, it does stain the fabric I found. I don't necessarily know what the white because it's white but I have like gray and oat and all those colors and it stains the fabric, which sucks. Um, maybe if I would have tried a little harder with like spray and wash and da da da, but who has the time to do that when you have a newborn? But absolutely love these, highly, highly recommend these. Now that I just went on a 20 minute rant about a baby onesie, this next product is the Magic Merlin Sleep Suit. Um, okay, so when you first have a baby, you will swaddle them, okay? I tried a couple different swaddles. Like I said, my baby had colic, nothing was making him happy. So I don't personally know what swaddle works because nothing worked for us. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about the Ollie, the Love to Dream. Um, we tried the Love to Dream. We tried, what was the other one? I don't know, we tried them all. Um, but what did seem to help when he was a little bit older um, was this I call it the marshmallow suit. It's so funny, so cute looking. Um, this, they say, is a great transition product from the swaddle. Um, you can get this for pretty cheap, um, and I think that it worked. It helped him. He slept longer, but again, babies are babies. They change every day. It could have just been, you know, I don't know. But I feel like this is worth the investment and worth trying. Um, they do a lot of sales I've seen of like returns that are gonna be cheaper. So definitely look out for those. Um, and if you have a friend that has this with their baby, definitely give it a shot with yours. Okay, so next up, this is the Snuggle Me Organic. Um, this is very similar to a Docatot. I'm sure you've seen those a lot of places. This is much cheaper than a Docatot. Um, and I really liked it. My son was never a huge, like I could just set him down and he would sit there type of baby. Um, he was usually crying. So I did like this though, if I had to set him down to use the restroom or make a tea or do something quick. Um, some babies will though, like sleep in these. Um, I know you're not supposed to, but if you set it next to you on the couch and they take a nap and you're watching them, I'm not recommending to do that. I'm just saying, I've seen babies do that. Um, so anyways, this was a good investment. This has a pillowcase on it right now. Um, this is what it looks like without. You can choose your color, um, but it's nice because you can take these off and wash them if they spit up on them. Um, but yeah, I think this, it's just nice to have a lounger when you have a newborn, just for daily tasks. Um, so recommend this one, it's well-priced. Um, and I definitely think this is gonna last for a while. So the next product, this is the Angel Care bathtub in thing. I don't know what you call it. It's like an insert. Basically, we put this in our kitchen sink um, and would give the baby a bath when they were a newborn. So what I like about this is it's not slippery. Um, it's kind of like sticky, I guess you could say. So when your baby's little, they're not gonna slide around in here, um, which is great. 
also it just is, is an easy support. Um, and what I did read about a lot of those that are like almost pillow like is that they don't really dry in between the baths and then they end up getting moldy and gross. So I just wanted something that was not going to mold. It was super easy to dry. Um, that you could basically just leave in the sink and, um, it, would dry. So I absolutely loved this. We used this really until he was probably seven months. Um, so you get a lot of use out of this until now we have like a, a seat where he sits up in the bath. Um, but you use this for a long time. So I definitely think this is worth the price. Okay. I know this seems like a lot, but I'm like getting down to nitty gritty stuff like diapers. So bear with me. So these are the pamper pure diapers. Um, for some reason, this smell of diapers I cannot get down with. I ugh, I don't know. It's something weird to me. It smells terrible, I think. So these do not smell like anything. They're super soft. We've been super happy. I don't think my baby has had a diaper rash um, like ever. So these we've used since we brought them home from the hospital. Absolutely love them. Target does a lot of these like promotions where if you buy like diapers and this next product, which I'll just go ahead and talk about, um, water wipes, um, and pick it up same day, you get like a $20 gift card back to Target. So I always do that. I stock up on diapers and wipes and cause you're always gonna need them. Um, and then that way you get $20 gift card to Target. So love these diapers, cannot recommend them enough. They are a tiny bit pricier than um, just your regular like Pampers diaper but I think not having to smell that is worth the extra few cents. So again, talking about diapers, the water wipes are what we've used day one. Absolutely love these. Again, they don't have a ton of fragrance in them. Um, they don't have any fragrance in them actually, but they are 99.9% .9 water and a drop of fruit extract. We use these for our dog. We use these for wiping him off after the, wiping the baby off after he eats now. Um, you can use them for anything. They're just a, such an amazing wipe. Um, and I, I don't know, they're amazing. What else do I have to say about them? I love them. The next product I wanna talk about is the Frida Baby Wendy. So in my last video, I talked a lot about the Frida Mom stuff, which I love. I think their brand is just, they just know what they're doing. Um, these are the Wendy and this is for gas. So baby's little digestive systems have trouble in the beginning. Um, my son's had a little extra trouble. He was very colicky and very gassy. Um, so these work really, really well. You basically stick them in their booty um, and you can hear air coming out of their bottom. So these are great. I definitely would have these on hand, um, just kind of in your little kit for when you bring baby home from the hospital, just in case, um, you don't want to be like having to run out to get these at 10 PM. So definitely, definitely recommend having these in your little stock. So on top of that, um, you are going to need a vitamin D supplement for your baby. I believe that's unless you are formula feeding. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm not positive on that. Um, but I was breastfeeding and the doctor told me I needed to supplement with a vitamin D for the baby. So this is the probiotic supplement with vitamin D droplets. And these are the Culturel baby ones. We tried all of them. We tried like the colic drops, the this, that, and the other. These were just great, easy. It's a little dropper. You put them in their mouth. Um, so definitely you are going to need something like this. Okay. So the next products are from Honest Company. This is the organic all-purpose balm. Um, and then this one is the Honest Diaper Rash Cream. So we use both of these religiously. We've had these since he was born. So this has lasted us almost nine months. Um, this all-purpose balm is amazing, just even for you or your, my husband uses this. Um, it's just a ton of different oils. It's amazing to put on their diaper, like where the diaper sits um, to prevent like chafing and especially if it's cold outside. We're obsessed with this, love this so much. Um, and then this diaper rash cream, like I said, my baby hasn't really gotten diaper rashes, but we'll just put it kind of on his booty um, if we see it getting a little red, um, but highly recommend these products. So on to feeding, um, which is a huge topic when you have a baby, obviously your baby has to be fed. So we have used these bottles from the very, very beginning. These are what I purchased before, the, before my son was born. 
Um, these are the Komotomo baby bottles. So as you can kind of see here, it is like a silicone bottle and it's squishy, malleable, um, and then the top is as well. So there are different um, nipples for them. So, you know, zero to three months, um, three to six months, so on. And that just determines the flow that's coming out for the milk or your formula. So these we've been super happy with. Um, they're just super easy and comfortable to hold as you are giving your baby a bottle. And then I think it kind of mimics a breast and I think that's kind of what they were going for in these. So I can't say enough good things about these. I absolutely love them. When we were trying different bottles because my son had colic, we were trying everything. Um, we always came back to these and we use these to this day. So absolutely love, 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 love these. Okay, so next up is a newer item to the formula world, um, as I have found. This is Bobby, and it's a new formula. It is based off of all those European formulas that you see all over Instagram. So I was really intrigued with this because it is FDA approved um, and it's made in the US as well. So I think that's huge. So Bobby does get all of its um, ingredients from local farmers across the country. And my brother is a farmer, so I really wanted to support that. Um, it has no corn syrup, no palm oil, and it's just a very pure formula, to be honest. Um, I read that it was really easy on baby's tummies and the transition was easier. So when I started supplementing, um, when my supply dipped, I started supplementing with this and the transition, you wouldn't have even known my baby was transitioning. I mean, he was not constipated. His stomach didn't hurt, which is saying a lot because he had really bad stomach problems as when he was a newborn. So this formula, I think it's amazing. Like I worship it. I think it's so great. Um, Again, with the vitamins that I talked about in my other video, this shows up at your door. Um, you can change the frequency it comes. You can change how much. They even put in there like how much they recommend you should order. Just super user-friendly, a super great company. I know the founder is a mom um, herself and started the company. So I am so impressed by this. I wish I would have tried switching him to formula earlier when he did have colic. Um, because I think it may have worked really well for his stomach, but I love this formula. It's great. Next item is this Hometics um, sound machine. So there are a ton of baby sound machines, which I have. I have the Hatch Rest, I have the Hatch Mini, um, and my husband and I have kind of found lately with just having to connect that to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and da 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 that this is so much better. It's so much more simple. You turn on the button and you walk out of the room. It's so easy. There are different um, noises. We just do the white noise machine, but honestly, just get the most simple sound machine. You don't need the fancy one with the light. You don't even use that. Like I think we used, tried to use the light like a couple times when he was a newborn and doing middle of the night diaper changes. And it ends up like turning from red to green to super bright. So just stick with the simple stuff. This is like 30 bucks and it's super simple and amazing and we love it. Next up is kind of along the same lines as the um, white noise machine, baby monitors. So I was nicely, kindly gifted um, the Maiku baby monitor when I added it to my registry. I had read that it was kind of like the Rolls Royce of baby monitors and it was beautiful and sleek and the marketing gets you and da 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 da. So I will say it's truly amazing that they can um, monitor your baby's breathing and it does bring you kind of a calmness and reassurance that your baby is breathing and is okay. Um, but it's just, it's not good. It disconnects all the time. Um, it'll say the baby's breathing when the baby's not even in his crib. Um, it's just, it's not reliable. It cuts out all the time. It's an app on your phone. So if you want to watch like a YouTube video, you can't, it'll turn off the monitor. So what we ended up doing is getting this, um, it's the Eufy security, um, monitor and it was $130. I think the Maiku was like, was it 300 or $400? Um, and so what we found and my sister-in-law did the same thing that you need a monitor that is not on your phone. It's so much easier, it's so much nicer to just set it down 
and listen for it and not worry about it kicking off on your phone. So this one I've been super happy with. You can add more cameras to this. So if you have multiple children, this is so amazing. I've had no issues with it. The sound's great. The picture's great. Um, yeah, I have no complaints with this. Um, it has really, really good reviews and like everything else, I'll link it below so you guys can check it out as well. But definitely recommend this baby monitor. Next up is, I will insert a picture so you guys can see, but this is the Love Every Baby Gym. Um, so there are a ton of baby gyms. I know I added to my registry like a super cute one from Crate and Barrel, which is great, but you only need one and it is this, honestly. Um, this is a company called Love Every. If you don't know about them, it is an educational um, brand. So basically they will send you things. You can sign up to do this. No. Okay, so basically the baby gym has a book that comes with it. So it'll tell you what to do with your baby on the mat when they're a newborn, when they're one month, two months, three months. So they know all the developmental things that the baby needs, which is amazing. So the mat comes with so many different things. Um, my baby is nine months now and he still loves the mat and plays on it. We took the little arch thing off of it just so he could freely play on it, but it is so amazing. Um, it's, I want to say $130 worth every penny. You will use it so much. It makes you also feel like you are doing good for your baby by kind of teaching them um, little things with the mat um, and develop their skills, which is great. So highly recommend this mat. It's all you need. You don't need a bazillion different mats. You just need one. It does so many different things as well. So the final item is this Baby Bajorn Bouncer. If you guys can see it, um, again, I'm sure this is a baby product that you have seen. Um, I absolutely loved this. It was easy to just not toss the baby in, but place the baby in. Um, it's a super soft material. You can take this off and wash it. Um, we used this from when he was pretty small, um, up until they sit up is usually when they try to like hoist themselves out of it. So super convenient when you need to get stuff done around the house. So we absolutely loved this. Um, there are a bazillion different colors. Um, you don't necessarily need this brand of one. Um, whatever bouncer you can find, just bouncers are nice to have in general. So I think that is pretty much it. If I forgot anything, I will list it down below. But those are the things that I personally think that is all you need when you have a newborn. Um, very simple stuff. I mean, honestly, you do not need much. Um, the only other thing I can think of is maybe if your baby takes a pacifier, we used the Philips Avent Passies um, when he was really small, the Soothies, and those worked really well for us. So um, if there's anything that you guys have that is newborn necessities, leave it down below. But I really think this is all that you need. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was helpful for you if you are pregnant or having a baby soon. Um, congratulations. Um, I will be back soon with some more videos. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you next time. Love you. Bye.